I try like uh, writing or expanding out Z F or F F of Z. Uh -huh. And then try to write it as like, like it gets like E to the I, Z goes like E to the I pi, but it doesn't really work. Okay, because look, this is 90 degrees. So I want to write it as mathematic equation. What can we say? You know, something like this, right? For example. Yeah, so like Z, is Z times... F of Z, F of F of Z. And this one is perpendicular. What can we say? Uh, how do you know Z is? Z is here or here? Any yeah. Else. Okay, but f of z is this because it says right a right angle at f of z. So what can we how can we write it as a mathematic equation? Well, like f of f of z um, times like a ninety degree angle, which would be like e to the i pi over two over z. Uh, yes. For example, look. Uh, let's consider this vector as w1, this one as w2, right? Mm -hmm. w1 is z minus f of z, right? Mm -hmm. w2 is what minus what? Um, f, of, f of z minus f of z. It's f of f of z minus f of z, right? Yeah. Okay, so if we write this one as R1 EI theta, this one as R2 EI alpha, what's the relationship between theta and alpha? Theta equals alpha plus pi over 2. Uh, and because, as you said, we or can switch plus them. Minus. Yes, alpha plus minus pi over 2, right? Mm -hmm. So how can we write it as mathematic equation? We can say from here it's equivalent that theta minus alpha is plus minus pi over 2, right? Yeah. So it means that if you divide w1 by w2, it's r1 over r2 ei theta minus alpha, right? Mm -hmm. Agreed? Yeah. So it's r1, r2, we want to prove it. But we want to prove this, we want to prove it. So we want to prove it's ei plus minus pi over 2, right? Yeah. Okay, means that this is, for example, let's call it W3. We should prove the angle of W3 uh, argument of that. The angle of that is plus or minus pi over 2, right? Mm -hmm. Do you need another hint or is that enough? I got 2.30 as my final answer. Okay, 2.30. Let's check. Here, W1 is F of Z minus F of Z. Let's see. W2 is uh, F, of F of F of Z. We can write it. It would be what? It Z would be F of Z nine. squared, right? Yeah. Minus 19 f of z minus f of z, right? Yeah. For this one also, we can say z minus this is 20z minus z squared. For this one, we can say f of z squared minus 20 f of z, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can factor z times 20 minus z. What about the denominator? We can write it as f of z times f of z minus 20. So let's write z20 minus z, and for the next one, z squared minus 19z. So z times z minus 19, z squared minus 19, and z minus 20 and z plus 1. z minus 20, z plus 1, right? Yeah, and z is not 0 and it's not 20. Why z is not 0? Because it tells us it's z is a complex number and it tells us that if z is zero, all of them would be zero, zero, right? Yeah, if z is zero. And there is no angle. They cannot yeah, create it, a triangle. 
And it says Z is in the form like M plus square root of N plus 11 I. Uh, let me ask you this. What about this one? Z 19, 20, negative one. Is it possible? Well, Z needs to have a 11 I in. Oh, yes, but what about this one? Because we have them in the denominator. If Z is 19, then f of z would be zero, right? Yeah. And then f of f of z also would be zero, right? Then they cannot create a triangle. Yeah. Yeah. So we reject it. So what about twenty if z is twenty? Ah, oh, do I read if uh, they are real numbers? One of them be real, then they are collinear on real axis. Yeah. So. <sighs> Z is not real number, I agree? Mm -hmm. So we can say it's negative 1 over this one, this one, right? Yeah. And we know that the angle of this should be plus minus pi over 2. What does it mean? The real part is 0. Yes, real part of this one is 0, right? Yeah. Is zero. Okay. So z is what? Oh, I says m plus root n d. So let's write z as a plus b i. Okay. Or a plus eleven i. Why a? Can I say it again? It says eleven. Eleven. Let me check. Ah, okay. So it's better. A plus eleven i. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what's this part equal to? Um, the real part turns into a squared minus 18a plus 1 minus 140 equals 0. That's the real part. Oh, okay, so let's check. This one is z squared minus 18z minus 19, right? Yeah. a squared minus 1 to 1 plus 22ai minus 18a minus 18198i minus 19, right? Yeah, so then the real part. Uh, is this. A squared minus 18 minus minus 18a, 18a minus, minus 140 is 0, right? Yeah. Okay, let me. Minus 18a minus 140. <laughs> then what can be conclude? A is 9 plus square root of 221. Oh, okay, so. Over two, which is nine plus minus eighty one, right? Plus one forty. One forty. Which is nine plus minus the square root of two two one, right? Yeah. Okay, and it says we should concept plus sign, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Yes, z is plus sign a plus root b. So it would be nine plus two two one. So, final answer is two-thirds, right? Yeah. Okay, what's your next question? <laughs>